Welcome back to Power Lunch. It is not often that you hear of successful South African innovators that are, or rather, experience success overseas. However, Formula D Interactive is changing that. The Cape Town-based tech team has won a contract to design a large-scale audiovisual structure set to be on display at Miami's new Museum of Science in Florida. CNBC Africa's Benedict Pather attended a recent demonstration to find out how this technology can impact our virtual environment. Cape Town-based innovator Formula D Interactive is drawing attention to the country's fledging technology scene on a global scale. Formula D is set to create a large-scale media hall for Miami's new Museum of Science in Florida in the United States. The digital installation will highlight the impact the Gulf Stream has on the marine world and offer museum visitors a closer glimpse into an underwater world. Um, the experience is a simulated underwater environment which runs on an 18 meter projected wall with a distributed sound system. So at one point in the museum you're standing in this underwater world which represents the Gulf Stream where animals and uh, specifically underwater fish and also some mammals are um, reacting to your presence in the space. And, um, yeah, that's essentially, in a nutshell, what we're doing. The venture pulls together three local tech industry companies, Formula D Interactive, along with animation studio Black Ginger, and hardware specialists Digital Fabric. So we're using a series of, of high-resolution projectors. These projectors are then uh, what we call blended together, so that you, know, you don't perceive it as multiple projectors, you see, perceive it as one seamless image. Um, and of course we're then having to warp this image to fit onto the regular shape of the wall. So there's an awful lot going on. Scheduled to open in 2015, the museum is being built at a total cost of around 300 million US dollars. Formula D Interactive faced considerable opposition from competitors in developed markets when pitching the idea. The bid beat teams from Germany, Canada, Australia, as well as the USA. We did an international call for proposals, and we, I think we probably had about 15 different companies and consortiums of companies submit. We narrowed it down to a very short list and interviewed those companies, and we selected uh, the, the uh, South Africa contingent because of the, the creative ideas that they had within the proposal. Um, I, I also think the quality of the workmanship we saw in prior projects. So it was an opportunity for us to work with a new company, um, somebody that um, probably hasn't done work in the States um, in terms of um, uh, getting their work exposed and, and getting that great work exposed to uh, Miami, Florida, and the U.S. audience. This high-profile project offers recognition for South Africa's tech industry, and the hope is that this could open up a stream of possible opportunities for local firms to operate internationally. And I think there's a lot that can be done to, to help uh, uh, the local creative industry, local design industry um, along to get more exposure internationally. Because uh, frankly, I mean, we, we don't have to hold back. We can, uh, there's so much great work that happens in South Africa. We just need to get the message out there. Benedict Partha, CNBC Africa, Cape Town.